hey guys and welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be comparing this red liquid food coloring to the powder liquid food coloring the red is from tesco and the powder is from color bomb so i know like on this channel i've said severally that i don't use powder food coloring but recently i've been proved wrong by like the different powders i've tried and in the past couple of months i've tried different i've tried about eight different kind of red food colorings to see which one works best for me because i'm in a different country now and i'm trying to see what works and what doesn't okay so today i decided to like show you guys i haven't been filming everything but i said to film this one today and show you what i you know what my results were basically so we're baking the same cake the same recipe but just using different food coloring so one thing i noticed was that they had the same taste when i was done one of them had a slight aftertaste though but it wasn't very noticeable it was just really slight and except you eat a lot of it you can really taste it but today i'm like making my red velvet cake but my red velvet cake recipe without a mixer so if you want to see have this recipe and be able to make it yourself because i don't have a mixer at the moment so like i had to switch my recipes to be able to work for me so if you want to make red velvet cakes without a mixer i'm going to put the link right up here so you can have this particular recipe i'm using in this video okay so in this video what i did initially was i thought i was going to measure um, about maybe two or three grams of powder and then two or three grams of um, liquid food coloring so i'll use equal amounts but that was not what i ended up doing because the results i got were really 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 different and rightfully so because you know the liquid food coloring has been mixed with some form of liquid so that thing did down a little but for the powder food coloring what i did initially was to use three grams yeah and then i used three grams of the powder food coloring and it was really really pigmented so i put that aside and then to the second mixture i decided to add another three grams of um the red liquid food coloring from tesco but what i noticed immediately was that they were not the same like the liquid coloring was watered down and rightfully so so what i did was okay i doubled it i tripled it until i used at the end of the day i ended up using about 12 grams of the red food coloring so and then to three grams of the powder food coloring and to be fair they were um the powder food coloring was slightly more expensive so if you are doing this make sure to know that the powder is more pigmented so you should use a lot less and i know on this channel i've said it severally that powder food coloring are not good for red velvet cakes because it will turn brown and i take it back yes guys i'm sorry and i take it back it depends on the kind of powder food coloring you're using this one gave me amazing results and like i left my mouth wide open it was so pigmented and it was so nice i'm going to put the link for you guys to buy it in the description box below and it is red red color from color bomb yeah so notice three grams of powderful coloring to 12 grams of um um liquid food coloring do you even see the difference so at this point i felt okay this red is not red enough by the time i add it to my um dry ingredients it would not be enough so what i did was i added three grams more so at the end of the day i ended up using 15 grams of the liquid food coloring to three grams of the powder food coloring yet the powder food coloring was really really pigmented anyway so this was my result this was uh, and this uh th in these bowls i have equal amount of ingredients and if you want this recipe i'm going to leave the link for you guys it's my regular red velvet no mixer recipe so it's basically the same thing the only difference for these recipes would be the red food coloring i'm using so let me show you guys and the other difference was the fact that <laughs> the bowls one of the bowl was bigger than the other and that's because that's what i have right now so that's basically the only difference but when i was done baking them you'd see like one is really really red and pigmented and the other one was not and then one also kind of became dull in the oven after i picked it and the other one like sustained this color i was so impressed with it anyway so at this point i decided to add my um my uh, red coloring mixture in that bowl there there is um yogurt and butter and some milk and then the red full coloring so i'm just going to be adding it now to my mixture so you guys can see the difference okay so for the powder food coloring 
it's from color bomb and that's the one we're going to be using i'm sorry i'm make, make, moving my light sorry guys i just want to tell you guys to sit a little bit better so like i won't be done making the video and then realize i didn't really show you guys that much okay so now i'm going to be adding the mixture the wedding now i'm adding some vanilla to it that's just some vanilla i bought from lidl so and if you want the recipe to my vanilla i make my own vanilla now even though it takes two months to make but i have a link right down here it says click on me and click on them anyway so that this was the one with the liquid food coloring and it kind of looks okay like right now before it's baked it kind of looks okay it doesn't look too bright but it looks red velvet ish and it looks nice if i had a cake a red velvet cake that came out this way i would not be really upset because it still looks red and stuff you can easily tell it's red velvet even though it is not as vibrant okay so we're going to the second one that i made with the powder for coloring to mix it and this one really surprised me guys see this thing really really surprised me I, I think at the point i felt i used too much even though it was just three grams to 15 grams so for this one see how red it became like by the time i turned it it became really really nice and one important thing i noticed was that it didn't change color in the oven after i baked it there was no color difference at all like the, the the color when it went into the oven was the same color it was when it came out and i was really really impressed with it at this point i'm kind of tempted to add a little bit of the really bright red to the dull red <laughs> just to make it a little bit red but this is an experiment and we want to stay true to you know our results anyways so if you'd like to buy those bowls i'm going to leave the link for you guys it's really nice and they have like uh, measurement scales in the meat inside of them so it's easy for you to use and also these cake trays that i bought on amazon i'm going to leave the link for you guys below as well they are sheet pants and they are really nice they're really easy to clean especially if you're using a parchment paper before like putting your cake into them and everything they're really nice i like them and also if you like to buy this baking parchment paper i like to buy my parchment paper in bulk because i don't know it just makes my life a lot easier guys so let me tell you the pros and cons what i noticed with the powdered and the um the liquid food coloring so the powder food coloring was really pigmented and it was so nice it went in the same color and came out the same color from the oven the heat didn't change it at all but for the liquid food coloring which i bought from tesco like it became it was a really it was really it was a really dull color this is the one with the powder food coloring it came out just like this after it was baked although i noticed it had like a slight aftertaste maybe because i added a little bit too much because it this is a little bit too red for me even as a baker i don't like it this red because it looks very artificial so i think maybe because i added a little bit too much because i added so much and that was why maybe it had the aftertaste so if you're using this make sure to like you know add a little at a time and then stir maybe a one gram or two grams would be okay for this size of cake because when it came out it had a slight aftertaste it's not something noticeable except you eat a lot of it but it was you know it was there so for the second one which is this one with the liquid food coloring yeah it went into the oven quite dull and it came out a lot duller when it came out it kind of looked it looked more like chocolate than um a red velvet cake and i wasn't really impressed with it but disclaimer though i heard this tesco food coloring shouldn't be baked it should just be for frosting and stuff but i've tested a lot of coloring including the ones i bought from um asian stores and i noticed that powder food coloring are beginning to change my mind i love them now and i'm trying different ones so i'm going to make more videos for you guys in the future about the different colors i've tried but if you like to buy this color bomb um red food coloring I'm going to leave the link for you guys to be able to buy it down below it is amazing and it is great and you can bake with it and you shouldn't add as much as i did anyway i really enjoyed this experiment and then ask me what nobody ordered this cake so like i just made them for experiment's sake look how dull this one looks like beside the very red one i feel like the red one was too red but this one is too dull anyway maybe i can be pleased okay guys so thank you so much for always watching my videos and i hope you enjoy this video as much as i enjoyed making it for you guys and this were the cakes when they came out of the oven this one looks so chocolatey and this one looks so reddish <laughs> 
Thank you guys so much and give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I love you guys. Bye.